Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Uh, this is going to be in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of August going into September. We are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of the month, and then we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, so keep in mind, this could be in anything, this could be in love, uh, romance, relationships, friendships, family, career, finances, personal development, uh, spiritual development. Uh, we'll just see what the cards pick up. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, new videos that post onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this uh, video with someone if you feel like uh, there is someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. And those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Right, Sagittarius. Um, over energies for Sagittarius. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect for the end of August going into September? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Sagittarius. lovers that jumped out here Sagittarius so you might have Gemini in your chart you might be dealing with someone that has Gemini in their chart All right we have the two of wands no that's not the two of wands the two of pentacles the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Five of Wands, and the Devil. So, Gemini, you could be closing out a cycle here in regards to a relationship. So this relationship could be with a partner, a friend, a family member. Uh, just apply to your own unique situation because it's... Because there's just a lot of conflict here, a lot of conflict, a lot of toxicity. I feel like you've been, or I feel like perhaps you were in this energy of trying to figure out what to do next, whether to stay or leave. But I feel like you're deciding to leave here. You're, de you're deciding to leave. I feel like you are trusting your intuition. You're not letting the ego get in the way. Um, I feel like you're taking decisive action to get out of harm's way here. You're getting, you're taking decisive action to get out of harm's way. Uh, why is this, uh, lovers here? What is this lovers doing here? Tell me about the lovers. I mean, this could be in a situation regarding love, a family, uh, setting, you know, a work setting. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. This is just a general reading. Why is this lovers here? We have the high priestess again. Cancer, Pisces energy. Why is this two of pentacles here? Two of pentacles and eight of swords. You could have been stuck in a very combative, toxic situation. And I feel like you are stuck in this energy of trying to figure out what to do next. And I feel like you know what to do now. Why is this High Priestess here? Nine of Pentacles. Uh, whoever this person is, I feel like this person wanted you to keep your mouth shut and not say anything. Not speak on anything. If you see, notice something, you're not supposed to say anything, that sort of thing. The Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, why is this three of wands here? No, five of wands. We have the King of Cups. 
So you could be dealing with a water sign that was uh, creating all this conflict here. Why is this devil card here? Could be dealing with someone that is very emotionally manip manipulative. I feel like someone here, I feel like you might have no, I feel like you have, I feel like you noticed these things and you said something and this person pretended like, oh, there's nothing going on. I'm hitting you, but there's nothing going on. I'm, a, I'm verbally abusing you, but there's nothing going on. Something crazy like that. We have the two of wands and the nine of swords here. So this was a very, very, very stressful situation. It was a very unhappy situation. It was a situation where you could not work with this person to make things right because this person didn't want to. This person, all this person wanted to do was fight. All this person wanted to do was argue. All this person wanted to do was like create conflict here. So let's see. Outcome and advice for Sagittarius regarding their situation for the end of August going into September. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus size. Outcome and advice for Sagittarius regarding their situation. the deck virgo energy all right the king of swords so libra aquarius gemini energy i mean someone here has gemini in their chart or both of these have gemini in your charts all right seven of wands all right we have the queen of swords here so there there is a pair so with the king of swords and the queen of swords here get the page of wands aries leo sagittarius energy so this could be right here with the queen of swords we have the seven of cups and we have the devil showing up again i mean this person could block you from leaving this person could be a very defensive individual here wow look at that we have the hermit the tower and the two of swords i mean this is I mean, someone here is literally trying to get away from someone. And I feel like it's this Queen of Swords here that's trying to get away from this King of Swords or this King of Cups. I mean, this is an incredibly toxic situation. I feel like this person thinks you're delusional because they're abusing you. <laughs> All right. I could be dealing with a narcissistic individual, uh, Sag. It's not funny, but um, it's quite uh, quite the mind bender when someone's doing this to you and they're like, no, why am I not doing anything? Why is this King of Swords here? Why is this King of Swords here? Why is this King of Swords here? Tell me about this King of Swords. King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. I mean, this person, this person is like a master pretender. I mean, I feel like you could go up to this person and say that, you know, you left the stove on. And you could, this person could say, no, I didn't cook anything. And this person's like eating a hot plate of like pasta or something like that. And you just, you know, so why is this Queen of Swords here? The Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I mean, this queen here is not doing well here with this person. Why is this Page of Wands here? The Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. You know, I feel like this queen is yearning for someone that here that is more stable, balanced, and well put together here. Uh, why is the Seven of Cups here? We have the Queen of Swords showing up again. I mean, this, this queen is trying to escape their reality here because it's so bad it's so bad this this queen could be turning to drugs uh this queen could be drinking a lot um i don't know i feel like this queen might be numbing themselves why is this devil here 
the Devil and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person might be drinking a lot. We have the Tower here and the Temperance card. So there is going to be some major changes, major shifts coming your way. And I feel like eventually you're going to be free and be more happy uh, from this Devil energy, from this toxic narcissist. I mean, right now, I feel like you're, you're, I feel like you do want to get away, but you could be, you, you could be in this energy of having one foot in and one foot out because we have two knights here and these knights on my table here, they're not facing each other. They're on different pages here. So there's this energy of leaving and wanting to come back, you know, having a hard time letting this go. But I feel like you made some sort of decisive decision of wanting to leave, but you're having a hard time. So I feel like moving forward, I see you staying in the situation here. But I feel like the universe might step in to help you. Yeah, because like, I feel like the universe is saying enough is enough. This is not normal. So... Sagittarius, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, like this video, share this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.